Bright Talk is a platform for webinars and videos. We have over 2 million professionals registered to the content on our site, all aggregated within communities that are a destination for their professional roles. Bright Talk is different from its competitors because we are working towards socializing webinars and videos. One really exciting new feature that we released on Bright Talk is the ability to see fellow attendees of webinars. And why do we find that interesting? We know that as professionals, we learn most from the colleagues around us and industry experts. And so being able to consume a webinar or a video and being able to see who else is consuming that content makes that content consumption piece exponentially more valuable of an experience, which for people producing webinars and videos uh, provides a really great opportunity for them to be providing value to those attendees who are showing up to view that content. And they have a lot more opportunity to engage across more channels and more frequently in a helpful way to those people consuming the content. As a producer of a lot of content on Bright Talk, hundreds of webinars myself and a community that houses hundreds of thousands of webinar assets, we've learned a lot about webinar and video content consumption. One, that you need to be producing content on a regular basis. And by regular, not monthly, weekly. Um, people want to be engaged with, want to know what's most relevant in their industry as it's happening um, and less as a reactionary basis. People also have different standards when it comes to content, but people more positively react to things that are real um, and more human. So, not that there isn't a place for corporate communications, but that people, when they're attending something that's edgy and reactive, um, that they're going to have a better experience. And you're going to find that more people come to your content and engage with, with you as a brand who's creating content if you keep your communication human. The other thing that we've learned about creating content like webinars and videos is that you have to be prepared to repurpose. A webinar doesn't sit on its own, it, it belongs as part of a larger campaign. One of my favorite things to do with a webinar is get a transcript of the entire audio tract. That means that people can repurpose that content easily so they don't need to actually watch the webinar to consume that content. It can become a blog, it can become social posts, it can become the basis for creating a guide, like our legendary content creation guide. It makes things simple and it's easy to explain it to a team without having to reprocess everything. One thing that we've also learned about creating webinars and videos is that people are making a lot of investments in marketing technology and that they're not doing enough to support those marketing technology investments with the right content marketing teams that you actually need to fuel those investments. It's really exciting to look at marketing automation as an example of that. Marketing automation is a what I like to explain to people who are unfamiliar with marketing automation is a shoots and ladders for your leads, prospects, and customers and a direction. So what is the experience they're having and how are they having it? But if there's no content, there's nothing for them to experience. So one thing that we've learned at Bright Talk is that the more thought process that is put into content development, the budget, the mapping, the aligning with your customers' needs, the more value you'll see.